Hey, hello, hello, hello. Plan to color this page, which is already a little bit colored. It might go fast. If I work diligently, it goes fast. But I just wanted to go live for a little extra motivation at the end of the day. Otherwise, I might not be working. So here's what, so they all got gray shirts. Everybody has a gray shirt. Boom. I can get the colors in here. It's grabbing that blue, but I don't really mind. Because I could do this on another layer and it wouldn't grab that blue. But that blue is just a flat. It's not even meant to be in the file. I'm actually going to change that next. So if I do this, then that's regular background, which is this. Boom. Maybe a little bit more pronounced. Oh, it's funny, like, like things will pop out and look pretty bad until you, once you throw it all together, then it looks like a finished comic page. But like it's hair, whatever, that's a fine color, whatever. But it, it actually doesn't really work. Like I could add lighting to that hair and render it that color would still not work. What does work is this like soft color that goes just a little bit different from his skin. And this is like, what do they call it? Luminescent light or whatever. So it's, it is not crazy. I will do that on another layer because I don't want the gray coming in. Something like that. Don't need much. And get that slight gradient in there if I I'm hitting C. C switches it here to transparent or color. That's and transparent makes it basically an eraser. But I'm just on the layer doing just the color, so it's not mixing. But yeah, like I can cut it back with the brush. Because like eraser does not have texture, but this does. I don't know if this is That might be okay, I don't know. These eyebrows, they aren't catching the light directly. You know, they're like slanted down. Anything slanted horizontal would catch the light directly, like the top of the mustache. But the eyebrows aren't, so they would actually be like a lot darker. I don't know how painterly I want it either for the style, but I think that would be okay. What's up with his glasses? His glasses... When we can't see past them, they're white. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I, mean, I think it works. I think that's okay. There's some pink in his shirt there. I think that grabbed that from the flat too. But I think it's okay. What about this blue? Same thing. 
but we can maybe add like an out of focus light kind of thing maybe kind of plays off the doing a lot of control Z like that that's the sound effect for that cut Caleb Reynolds, get it. What's up, Caleb? Awesome one. What's up, man? Benjamin Soto, what's up, man? So, going from flats to colors, another thing is, so these guys, these F, these other FBI agents, what do I want? I want to add, I want to add, oh, here we go. Um, they all got just white shirts, too, so. Just, just go ahead and bounce. And it's like, well, what are you just making the page black and white? You're just making it more not a monochrome? Yes, sort of. Like their heads, I haven't messed with their heads yet. They're still off. Can you tell they're wrong? Like, it's interesting. But yeah, monochrome is better, like, a lot of the time, I guess. Um, move this for their lighting. Now it catching these extra colors is not the best, but I can't decide. I kind of don't mind. I'll merge it down and keep messing with this as I go. Okay, I just want What's this guy. This guy looks like he has pretty darn similar. Oh. What happened there? Okay. Look at this little lump on his. <laughs> I want just his hair to be selected. Okay. And then his skin. Bam. See, then it, uh, like it, he looks like he's in the panel all of a sudden. You get the right color and then it like works. Ain't that something? What about this guy? He's, see, these are different colors too. You can find any color and make it work. But getting it the right color. I might give her hair. Uh oh, something happened here. It's a little white line. What is that? I hope that wasn't me. Look at the scribbles. That was like me. I might want to open that actual file. <laughs> this is one negative of this drawing pad. Is it does wig out randomly where it'll think it's touching but it's not touching. And you'll get some weird crap. But you always just notice it immediately and go control Z. It happens like, you know, once an hour or less. So I don't care, but that time it definitely got through. 95 open. Okay. So now, see, I don't even see it. So that's good. It must have just got scribbled on the actual JPEG. So I just won't save. Or I can, I, oh, I can control Z it then. That's what I can do. Nice. Um, so I, oh yeah, so she does have some lighting here on her hair. That's good, because we'll use that. Because this this color is almost too uh, too much. That dark, rich red. The lights of this room kind of sap out the colors. Oops. I think I'll do it on.
And then there's this one purple thing, whatever the heck that is. Just make it way more gray. Our boy here, he's got white shirt too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. He's he's a, a cop who's hanging out with the FBI. And so I could color his shirt different. But either way. See, then he fits all of a sudden. Now, how best to actually, I can color this kind of like 3D style where it's like. Maybe that way. That's not even like lighting per se that's just a little 3d shading i don't mind that being there oh yeah and then this is a close-up so we probably will render this slightly for this guy's face here and i gotta do his skin coloring and then there's a whole new scene oh which is interesting i don't know if that's shumshing i want to try and do What's up, student? Just doing a little coloring. All right. I can select this too. Okay. Our light shade is here. We have selected it. We can go in. I want my brush size to be able to pretty much hit that bridge of his nose in one stroke. One more flipping stroke. See, so that's kind of like trying to do that 3D lighting and then how best way to do that. Just cutting it back. That looks pretty good. I don't know. Could make the brush bigger now. Try and sometimes you can really like oh, connect these shapes a little bit. That looks okay. File save. Now, I don't know if I have a color key for this one at all. I'll merge it down. Merge down as I go, it's crazy. I have I keep one layer with all the flats, so they never get messed with. I can use that for selections. Then one layer to just build up the colors. And I'll go work above it on a layer, but I always merge it down. I don't like working with a billion layers. Dun, 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 dun. What we got here? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I do have some sort of kind of things I can pull. This page is a little bit too dark. I think this eventually got lightened, but the book actually printed a little dark. So, like... For when part two comes out, I'm going to 
you can buy part one and it's going to be a second printing because I'm all sold out anyway of the first printing. And nothing's going to change except I'm going to light it, lighten it just a touch and that will be nice. But I can lighten these colors as I go. Um, so like that, that's like too dark, but this lightened a little bit. Now, if we're going by the rules we've kind of been setting, basically like desaturating it a lot can can kind of hit what you're looking for a lot of times. It'll start to come together. these get them all in one pal swoop and that's kind of like mucky rust type stuff that color is almost okay when you see like that like that looks okay okay so that almost like works for what because it well the problem is during the day that the black up there I might almost delete that from the line work because that kind of makes it look or I can do a color hold. Let's do a color hold. That's crazy. You guys feel like being crazy? Clip to layer below makes it a color hold. And then I gotta get the exact deal and deselect all the lines. Boom, look at that. Color hold. So now, color holds in there. We can darken it a little bit or lighten it. Try lightening it. And then we're back down here. We can try a gradient on it. Question. I selected that one too. I do not want that. A lot of times, I'm trying to think, if it's at night, the light will kind of come from the ground, the hazy mist of the ground. Like, so it'd be like that. And if it's day, probably more like that. I think. Maybe the lightly mist of the ground. I mean, that looks cool. Maybe that. Well, bam. Cool, so we got that. Now, the water itself is like a little bit of a challenge. Let me see. Save. I'll show you guys a cool trick though. Should I mess with these rocks at all? They look cool just flatted with the ink lines. They maybe don't need like I could render them a little bit, but this is like kind of a small panel. Like they read pretty good, just like that. You could sometimes you can do a full-on gradient style thing. So if we wanted, it's like the hazy mist kind of thing, like that. I mean that's cool. We're adding a lot of hazy, misty blues to everything. There's almost two hazy, misty blues. I don't even know. Did I overdo it? I don't even know. What about this water? How does water work? The water will sort of reflect the rocks. 
like that. Oh, dude, that looked pretty sick. One stroke, but I don't know. Then we can try and be like, woo, 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 woo. What you think about that? See, that looks kind of sloppy, because it was, but I show you some things. Sometimes you can do, if I do try and do it on a separate layer. Like that. Then we can make it lighter. No. Um, I don't even know. Looks pretty good. See, that's the other thing you can do with water is with this old action. We'll do it on a separate layer. Well, it might be big. And then we'll go to another brush. And we'll cut it, cut it out. Boom. Up a boom. I'm telling you. What else? We can go. Add all of these fools in, maybe. I don't know. I go actual sprinkles. Sprinkles. Should I sprinkle it? No. Should I? No. Maybe I should. Sprinkles? Sprinkle. Now, what else? We're doing some crazy old business right here. If I go this guy I can kind of try just giving him a little 3d just by doing that is that crazy yes it is is that stoop Same thing we can, uh, oh, it's on another layer, so I can't cut it back, but I can just use this cut in. We can make a little, little floop, a little flooper. Should we floop it? Like that. Is that crazy? Yes. It's cooler without it. Okay. We're almost ready for so 
So this this looks good. This is almost like one style of coloring that I do kind of like where it's still kind of flat and just kind of serving the ink line drawing. Just kind of like soft gradients, not doing too much. Did a little bit with the water, that's about it. Maybe a little bit with the sky. But I'll show you guys something you can do is we can actually make this, give this like a break between the sun and the shade. And we'll see how that looks. And that is kind of a style more like this book, although this would be fine if we did that. Um, so how we do that is we have this colored, we go control paste, we got it on another layer. I'm going to paste it twice. And then I'm going to go one layer above. Then I'm going to get my sun's shined. Fill completely. And then I'm going to go overlay. And that gives us a sort of sun kind of thing. We might want to make it Oh, yeah, like a little more high contrasty, like that. So when it all hits the sun, that's you know whatever. When it when nothing hits the sun, and then we are using masks are going to delineate where. Where the book? Oh yeah. So now, see, yeah, I can paint the su the sunlight in. See, like that that scribble looks dope. Like whatever. Whatever. I probably you know like any the sun can hit anywhere depending on how the clouds are. But I feel like this is more in shade and this is more in the sun. You know, so like. Getting a little reflection up here. It's almost too bright on the. And then the thing too that's interesting is we want. Dang damn it. Okay, I'm undoing, oh yeah, right, we're, okay, got our sky, we got this. We want the sky to be dark, just all dark, because it's weird, you don't really want lighting on the sky. I mean, so it's the dark file, but now I can mess with the dark file and make it brighter if I want. Like so. That does look better. Yo, see, that looks money, I'm sorry. And that's crazy what we went through to get there. It's not that much, you know. We could do even more. Like I have the, the airbrush kind of, you know, it kind of messily hit the part that should be in shade. But that looks like bounce light. Like it looks kind of cool, I think. So I think I would leave it. Oh, the other thing is we can mess, we can mess with the water a little bit more. So we'll select all the water, and then same thing, we're up here again. And then I'll go big old airbrush. Yeah, then we go all the way across. Something like that. That's, the water's a little bright there, but um, we could possibly bright, darken the, yeah, that's okay. Colors are a little weird on the water, but it's not like you can't tell it's not water. And it is 
gumpy gumpers in water. It's a little bit like sometimes if you do too much airbrush, it gets like muddy, you know. Alex Witherell, what's up, dog? Dale, what's up? Alex says, uh, personal preview looked awesome. Thanks, Alex. Edwin, what's up, man? I've been messing with some, yeah, trying to get better at traditional style. Um, yeah, so that's the, I mean, the dark water is almost better. What do we do? Let's try to figure this out again. We'll go back. So we can make it all dark water. And then just that little splooch. How does that look? Looks okay. How's that look? That looks pretty good. And then we can try adjusting darker, brighter. We had it pretty good. What about the bright, brighter, darker? Ooh, a little darker looks good. Contrast up, contrast down, down. Contrast way down, that don't look so bad. But probably zero. All right, that might be it for now. I got these little blue bubbles too. Oh, yeah. Color, I will just merge. We're committing. We're gonna merge again. Crazy. File save. And you guys who watched the video, you remember seeing how it looked at it at any point. Now we could still go in here and give some 3 d to these rocks. And that would honestly look pretty great. But I think we don't need to. You know what I mean? Like this is just a comic. If I render every single rock, for one, it like it does like downplay the art, the line art, which the line art is great. You just don't need it. I don't know. Oh, but yeah, it turned out good. If I do say so myself, with whatever. I now I'm looking at like I can see a few things, but whatever. That I think it's okay. If it's bugging me in the morning, the water's just a little sloppy. Whatever. I like, you know, I like it when you can see the strokes and stuff, but. Quiet Red, what's up, man? A few people popping in. Um, I have one more panel to draw, but I'm already kind of. Even though, man, I feel like I could almost do that in 10 minutes, but feeling kind of dead. Let me look at. Oh. Some other stuff I might have to work on is what's this? Oh yeah, there's a, a, a sort of a test page. Um, the other thing that I was gonna maybe do was a little bit, maybe a little bit of 3D. Awesome, what's this Mario pipe? Yeah. By the way, Alex, thanks for mentioning the personal preview. I appreciate the feedback. That I did get like, I don't know, a handful of people telling me that they liked it, which is good. It's a good sign. I'm curious if the traditional art can open up new doors or even be like a smash hit, you know, like like kind of level up the crowdfunding. I still haven't got a six-figure campaign, you know. Earthbound 2 was the highest. It hit 80. It's like, man, what if I hit, what if I did traditional 
and it was all hyped up. Okay, one second here. Ten people, what's up? And I'm pretty tired, but yeah, I just wanna, I was like, I might, how do I get in there? Do a little 3D modeling. Just 10 or 15 minutes here. I gotta make a little science lab for a comic. So I'm going to, I need to populate it with some science lab type objects. I already did a microscope and it look, and I'm, they're like low poly because they'll be in the background or whatever, but you still want them to look, you know, not super terrible. And the microscope turned out pretty good. But I don't even know, like I might try and make some like canisters. <laughs> Dale says six figures is harder. It's true. That I mean, that's totally true. I feel like the day might come again, though. We'll see. We will see. Alex says, Percival's probably the project you're the most excited by. I'm guessing traditional drawing, story to produce. It is, but not terribly much so, except if I color it. But if I do manga-style shading, then it's a lot more comparable and doable. So I definitely want to do that kind of at first, just to test the waters and stuff. And then see where that oh, goes. Might be able to do a color version. But then I do kind of get like distracted and then it's hard to choose. One thing with Percival is the script is 400 pages and I do need to rewrite it. Not the whole thing, but I just need to like go through it. It would take, you know, like a month, just two days a week, spending my mornings going through it, making sure everything lines up and everything. Um, and I can do that, but I kind of want to do that before I even draw too much of it. So I'm like, that's one thing is I'm still kind of hanging back when I, I don't know if I, and then the other one is I have another traditional project that I kind of got excited by, which is the anthro vampire one. And that's another one where I'm like, what if this one's a hit? Anthro vampires combines the two most degenerate fandoms into one genius. Is that, does having a back catalog help? Do people buy older books when backing a campaign? Yeah. Oh, if you're talking for potential to reach a higher number on the crowdfunding, absolutely. You know what? A, one that could be big coming up is um, Graham, once Grand Prix Part 3 comes out, that creates a trade. So that'll be the tr first trade of Grand Prix. And then, you know, the catch-ups for Earthbound 1 and 2. But I think I'm going to actually come for that. I will also release Earthbound 1 and 2 combined in, in one book. So that'll be a brand new, you know, printing that a lot of people that even though they might own both, uh, both trades, they might want the collected um, edition. And I, I might do it hardcover. Man, that would be so sweet. And try and use the China printer that everyone's talking about. But man, so that one would, um, could be potential to be a relatively big campaign. And... Oh, I can show you guys something, maybe. Let me see. I have to, I have to stop screen sharing for a second. So, I'm all pumped on this, but I don't know if you guys will be. But, in December, I'm going to re... Well, yeah, like, December is when the new Nosferatu comes out from Robert Eggers. And I'm like, I got the book. So, I want to re-release my book around then and try and catch that wave again. But I want to do a new cover. And this time I was like, I'll do my own cover. And um, and I've started working on it, and I'm pretty pumped on it. Uh, but all I got so far is Nosferatu. And it's, yeah, whatever. I'll show you. Um, let me see if I can. I kind of forget where the folder is. Just one second. Is this it? No, that's 
not it. Oh man, can't even remember where I just. Oh, where the flip? Can't even remember what I called it. Oh my god, I lost such a cool file. Uh, one, one. Bear with me one second. Sorry, I'm gonna search like some guesses. I'm just gonna go NOS. Search NOS. See if it comes up. Oh, dude, it, it did come up. Yeah, it's funny. It is buried in a weird folder. NOS room. Okay. File open. Okay, present. So this is the it so far, and then I'll zoom in. You can kind of see. Um, and then I'm gonna draw the girl down here, and it, it'll be cool. But um, this is a blender sculpt. So this is a 3D model. I'll show you the original 3D that got, that's the original 3D image. And then when I mess with it, this is what it becomes. And I sculpted that in Blender, which is fun. Pop your Rico looking sweet. That looks really spooky. I like it. Yeah, Blender. Awesome one says, what is anthro? Anthro is where, it's, it's like short for anthropomorphic, but it's where, like if you've seen Rock and Roll or Goofy Movie, some of these kind of cartoons, they have a tradition where it can be kind of a human story, but it's talking animals that play out the human story. That's called anthro. And of course, you know, it has its like degenerate corners, which they call furries, I guess, right? But I love anthro shit, uh, black side, and I've, I want to do my own stuff, some anthro stuff. It has a little bit of a claymation or action figure vibe. Yeah, yeah, it's because I'm not that good of a sculptor. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it turned out good. Got a picture of the girl here too. And I actually, I think, can I show you this one other thing? Let me see if I can find this. There is even possibly something I can show you. I can show you something. So Nosferatu is going to get re-released. Earthbound is going to get reprinted. So there's a few coming up that are just kind of like reprints with new covers, basically. Um, that's what Nosferatu is. And possibly no real new content. Just re-releasing new cover. And you know, you don't, so the sales might not be super high because maybe people got their copy, they don't need another. But... It's hoping that, you know, there might be a new audience kind of because the movie's coming out. And the book turned out good, you know, great in my opinion. I really am happy with and love the book. And a lot of other people do too. So I'm like, there's a little bit of word of, word of mouth out there. I'm like, I want this to be the definitive Nosferatu graphic novel adaptation. Which it's, I don't know if it's the only one. So then that kind of helps. Definitive. Let me see something here. <laughs> yeah. Son of the gun of the... Okay. So I haven't drawn the girl yet, but I have, I have the sketch on my drawing board. I'm doing it traditional, and it does look pretty sweet. But I'm actually scared to ink it because the sketch turned out so good, the pencil sketch. 
but I will I'll, I'll ink it and if I if I mess up you just use the light board trace it and ink it again or whatever but um so this is an old drawing of a very similar layout and you know this is like narwhal style I guess you can see like she's she's still pretty there she has the appeal him reaching over uh, and there's one other one I did of the same thing so I keep trying to draw this style layout Here's one too. This this is you know again same idea. Him more painted, and then her more drawn, and she's doing something with her hair. But um. But yeah, like these are older drawings, older, and this is like the new one. I feel like it makes me feel like I've I have improved, which uh, is good. A lot of the improvement, some of it comes from uh forcing yourself to not be satisfied if because i'll draw like when i was on my drawing board today i was I had to draw the girl so you know it's a similar thing like this and i drew like something like this i'm like no it's not good enough like so i you try and picture it in your head and look at some reference draw it again and i i have the light board there too so it, like I'm, i am enjoying traditional drawing i'll hold it up to the light reverse flip it so you can see that like flipping the canvas but you're doing it like traditionally and i think i i hadn't drawn yet today so it did take me like an hour to warm up but i was like no i'm going to stick with this because that it it gets hard and you're like ah, oh, i want to give up but i was like i'm just going to keep drawing her until i get better at drawing her and i think i drew her you know sort of trying to do that pose multiple iterations sometimes tracing the iteration to try and evolve it like five six seven times cut to an hour to to an hour and a half later so not a crazy amount of time but then I had the sketch on penciled sketch on my board ready to be inked and it looks great and so that's where I'm at now so I got to do that like tomorrow scan that in pop that in here beneath my boy Nosferat and then um and then we'd be sitting good. That I don't think that campaign will even like release, you know, until like fall, maybe early fall. I don't know. Um, and I wonder what if I could offer one other thing. It could be fun, but I am like a little bogged down with work. Got a lot going on. Just trying to figure some shit out. Um. It could include all three, maybe, and one more, maybe, of the Blod couple, which is the kind of funny me and Clint's characters. That's these guys. We got, we got nine pages of content of these of these guys. They're they're roommates. Whatever. It's funny. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Poppy Rico was looking for horror public domain music the other day. Gotta say, Nasra does some good ones. Nice, that's cool. I bet it does. Yeah, I forget where I. There's some I've heard good music. I'm like, that's good. I feel like Metropolis might have some good music. Made a little rocket game with rockets and blender. Oh, dude, I would like to see that. Caleb says, has anyone bathed in the in the river yet? No, well, one person did, Caleb, but I don't, if there was never really any proof. So I still sent the guy the reward. And, you know, there's, supposedly there's three. I say supposedly because I'm more or less closed it in my head, but I haven't publicly. So if someone did do it, I would send them something. Caleb, if that is you, wink, wink, you can do it. Do it, be safe, though, and don't do it in dirty water. There's a lot of clean, safe rivers around here, so it's easy for me. Um, Sean Connery expression. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, cool. I'm kind of winding down here. I wonder. I was gonna tell you guys one thing that was fun. One thing. So yeah, 16 people watching. This is like not not exactly a spoiler, but but you know in that realm. But for hotel story. 
So me and Jared were working on part two. And we had kind of, there was a part where we were trying to kind of figure out all the logistics and how to make sense. It's kind of like if you get it wrong, it could be considered a plot hole, you know, but our, that plot is not the kind of thing where it's like, the plot holes are more like, wait, we established that the monster is on like the seventh floor, but then now there needs to be evidence of the monster in the basement. Is that enough time for them to move from point A to point B? Should we cut to the other scene first? It's all this kind of st stuff, you know? And there was one where we wanted to do kind of as a solution to, to solve a problem, but we wanted um, to do a scene where the, they stumble upon a bunch of dead bodies, like a mystery of like what happened here in the basement. And then because of kind of the logistics, it was almost looking like that might be impossible to do because usually the bodies would get uh, like taken away or whatever. But we're like, well, maybe these ones haven't been found yet, but then there's some other stuff. But we did, we did kind of settle on that. It's like what happened in the basement of the hotel is like a mini cut scene from Resident Evil where there was one security guard and he did offer a resistance to the turned, which is like basically a zombie outbreak. And so he fought the turned with his handgun in the basement. Um, but you, you don't, and then I'll, I guess I'll just kind of leave it at that. But so that's not like they just come upon like all these dead bodies kind of. And then, and then a few other kind of fun things happen. I almost want to say what the stuff that's fun about it, but I don't know. It's like sort of spoilery. But the fact it's only 13 people watching makes me think I can tell you guys. But so there's some kind of fun stuff with that. And then, oh, yeah, I was going to say one thing about it. Oh, that's going to be the mini comic for part two. Because, you know, I'm always wondering, like, what would be fun to do? Look, a little expansive little mini comic that, it's not the kind of thing like you have to read it. It's not even like a deleted scene. It's like less than that, but just a little extra fun lore. It's like, hey, yeah, want to see the security guard fight zombies in the basement and see whether or not he made it out? Um, mini comic. So that that's a little... Any kind of time I can get the mini comic stuff, I, I definitely just am in that phase. I love it. would love to do some of that for the Nosferatu book. Um, and I could do, yeah, like, I don't know, some of the extra, there is some Earthbound short stories that were in the shorts compendium. I could release those separately and sell those too for that big Earthbound campaign that might come up eventually. So there's Fairmount to, fair amount to do. Fairmount has written a lot to draw. Yeah, let me see what you guys are saying. I'll probably get out of here. River is up from all the rain, so a great time. So it's still open. Yeah, Caleb, if you do it and post a video, I'll definitely honor the arrangement. And that'll probably close the close it after that, because that'll be two. I said three, but um, it's been a while now, so I'll probably close it after two. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Well, everyone, good chatting with you guys. Just a little color and hang and share and some stuff. Uh, I I am pivoting to have my mailing list be, and live streams can do it, have it too, but like the mailing list is like the big, it's almost like the equivalent of a Patreon, but it's free. But that's where like exclusive stuff, kind of top secret stuff, all that stuff gets shared. So sign up for the mailing list if you haven't. The next big one will be like next week-ish, and I'm going to show you guys a Mad Max page that I did, uh, traditionally drawn and colored, and it does look pretty great. Um, that's another one. It just takes so darn long, but I don't know. Uh, I'll uh, catch you. Wait, Deli says, when you going hard into Kickstarter, Anthro Vampires? Yeah, maybe Cerberus Part 2. Which is actually kind of like the next campaign. I mean, that might launch 
in June or July, something like that. I want to get as much of it done before then as possible. But, yeah. All right, well, I'll see you guys later. Thanks, everyone. Peace. Peace out.